My name is Casey Blackman, and I'm one of the founders at Veggie Bite Kitchen. And today we're going to be interviewing Shay Murphy. She is a dear friend as well as a member of our church, and she is a WNBA and EuroLeague basketball champion. And we're excited to learn more about her journey to wellness. Crushed it. it. That was good. Thank you, guys. So Shay, if you could just walk us through um, kind of how you just transitioned to a more plant-based diet. Yes, um, I went cold turkey. You know, I did some research after watching a couple documentaries, and once I found out the statistics and the numbers and how bad actually meat is for their body and dairy, I totally went cold turkey. I went, I freaked out. I emptied out everything in my closet. And I'm like, no way, not again. You know, I'm, <laughs> I'm not about to die early. You know, so. And it was, it wasn't that challenging because I'm disciplined with sport. I think having some discipline helped me, you know, and um, I'm not perfect, you know, I went 32 out of 34 days eating extremely clean and healthy and vegan. But I think um, I would recommend everyone doing it in a slow step, you know, go, going to cold turkey, it's not really easy and it's not, it's not, um, it's not always that fun, but I think making the healthier choices, you know, one week you're gonna eliminate, one time you're gonna eliminate, uh, eliminate chicken and then next month you're gonna eliminate Beef, and then next week you're going to get ready to fish, and in steps you'll do that, and then you'll get used to it. So it's mm -hmm. not, it's not a diet; it becomes a habit, a way of life, not mm -hmm. just for the moment or temporary, you know. So I would definitely recommend people going step by step, taking their journey, doing it in moderation, what feels right for you, you know, and uh, it won't be as shocking as going cold turkey. Yeah. So, uh, so just reiterate, just having to make it more sustainable you might need to do stepwise. Um, just so you can eliminate different ingredients from your diet. And so just if you could wrap up this conversation mainly with uh, just some words of encouragement and some tips that you would have for people that are transitioning to a more plant-based diet. I think definitely before doing anything, you should definitely do your research on it. Why are you wanting to transition to a plant-based diet? What, find out why you're doing it, not just because it's a movement or a trend. Once you do the research and you'll find how meat clogs your arteries, how it leads to early cancers and diabetes, then that should be motivation to you for yourself that you want to take care of your body live longer. So I would definitely just recommend and encourage people, you know, it's not going to happen overnight. It's definitely going to take time, but like anything worth having, it's going to take time. You have to work for it. Make it a habit so it's natural and it's second nature. It's like breathing, you know? And um, yeah, I think don't knock it until you try it. Everyone's scared to use the term vegan. I'm, I'm vegan Monday through Friday. I'm, it doesn't matter how long you're doing it. Just try it before you knock it. I've had some really great meals. I, I mean, there, there's just a lot out there. And as long as it's accessible to you or you want to learn and how to cook, there's a lot of websites. And if it's about pricing, you can visit uh, Vegan on a Budget. There's a lot of ways that you can make this happen and make this lifestyle for you so you can live healthier and you know disease-free as long as possible. Thank you, Shay. We appreciate you sharing your experience and your wellness to journey. We hope that you will join us sometime in the future again. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Veggie bite out. Hey. <laughs> Veggie bite out.